Oh my God, what is happening? This is Coin Paprika, and I'm recording this on Friday evening, the 23rd of April. It's just gone 7 p.m. in the UK. And look at this, Bitcoin is down 8.8% on the day, 20.71% over the last seven days, $49,950.36 at the time of recording. Ripple down 33% over the week. Dogecoin down 39%. 39.94%, and we keep going down, and we keep going down in the top 100 coins by coin market cap. And look at them, look at them, all of them down, down, down. And look, this one's up 0.94%. Well, that's not really anything special. Keep going down. What's this one? 22.41%. That's Maker. That's over the last seven days. Big deal. We're in a bull run. They're supposed to be going up. But look at this bloodbath, everything red. What's this one? What's this one? Up 512% over the last seven days? Up 81.5% just today? And in the last hour, up 10.45%? What magical coin, what magical cryptocurrency is this that is defying the odds, bucking the trend? That's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Tokenmetrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. This is my BitTube channel. Please come and subscribe to me on BitTube, censorship-resistant platform. You can also find me on Odyssey, Library, and BitTube. Follow me on Twitter, CryptoRichYT, and join my official Telegram announcements channel. All the links in the description below. Hi, everybody. This is Crypto Rich, working with you to get rich with crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits. And guess what? This is another video about a project that is a member of the Blockchain Privacy, Security and Adoption Alliance, BPSAA. It is a group of nine projects that work together to promote privacy, security and adoption. And I've been with the BP, 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 BP. I have been with the BPSA since pretty much the, since it started. And the members include Total Network. Etho Protocol, Komodo, Dragon Chain, BitTube, Burstcoin, Ergo Platform, Sentinel, and Pirate Chain. Now, to join the BPSA, it's free to apply, and every application, every project that applies gets thoroughly vetted. They get scrutinized, and projects are refused. So one of the things about following the BPSA -A 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 projects is that you can pretty much guess, rest assured that they have been fully thoroughly audited because none of the projects that are members want to take on other members that turn out to be shoddy or scammy or shammy in some way or another. Now, it is one of these projects that has a five, that has had a 512% increase over the last five days. I have been covering this project for the last two years, since I know, over two and a half years since it first launched pretty much, for which I am very, very grateful. I am one of the crew and this project is Pirate Chain. And the ticker symbol for Pirate Chain is R. Apollo, the most secure, simple, and easy to use crypto wallet. If you order now, you get 47% off. Use my affiliate link in the description below. They are doing a fundraiser on Kickstarter and they were fully funded in 19 minutes. It uses the world's highest security certified chip, 100% offline, all the major cryptocurrencies and over 200,000 tokens. Link in the description below. Now, time of recording as I start this video, Pirate Chain on CoinMarketCap is $16.69. Who knows what it will be by the time I finish recording and who knows what it will be by the time I post this video on Saturday morning. Now, you can see here on CoinMarketCap that the market cap is $2.9 billion, $2.9 billion, and it's ranked 202 on CoinMarketCap. Now, this is the top 100 coins on CoinMarketCap listed by market volume, by market cap. But look here. Thorchain at 3.028 billion, and then Avalanche at 2.9 billion, and Kusama at 2.7 billion. Pirate Chain should be here, but it isn't. What's going on, Coin Market Cap? I think somehow, some way, there is some fiddling going on. Maybe intentional, maybe not. I don't know. This is Coin pa Paprika Top 100, and we scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Number 19. There's Monero. There is Monero at number 18. Keep going down, and we can see here at number 43, there is Pirate Chain. And Pirate Chain is the coin that has gone up 512% in the last seven days. How come? 
Now, this is Pirate Chain on Coin Paprika on the weekly chart, and it first listed in November 2018, and it was at a low of about 0.28 cents when it first listed, and it did dip down to as low as 1.48 cents here, and that was in February 2019. And then here, let me just move me to one side. Here, you see this black line, it's not very clear, is the first halving. So Pirate Chain halves every 270 days. So it went up in anticipation of the halving, then it went down, and then it went down, and then you can see there was another halving here in February 2020, and it halved again. I'll show you how, how what the emission rate is in a moment. But here there was also a hack of one of the major exchanges that Pirate Chain was on. So the price didn't really go up that much because of that hack. And then there was a, let's say another halving, another halving is due. Oh, there was another halving or it's due. What's happening here? I don't know what I'm talking about. Hold on a second. Okay, that's better. I have scrolled right out. These black lines represent halving dates. And this was the uh, November 2018 date that I showed you earlier on. And here, according to this, it has touched up. This is on the weekly chart, right? So um, on Coin Paprika, it's up to 13.378 dollars. It's dropped back down. Now, this could be a pump and dump. It could be, except there's a few reasons why I think it isn't. Now, I'm not suggesting you go in and buy right now. And I don't know if it's going to dip either. Your best bet, if you're interested in this and you've done your own due diligence, is to dollar cost average in by a little bit now, a little bit, a little bit later on, a little bit, a little bit later on after that. And that way you kind of even out the rights. And I recommend it, at least this is what I'm doing as a long term hodl. I've been hodling all the way from the very, very beginning. And why I say it isn't a pump and dump is we it's been rising steadily for three weeks. Now, there is likely to be a correction at some point when people profit take, but there are solid fundamental reasons why I think this, this coin has really, really great promise. Mm -hmm. And those fundamental reasons are to do with the technology, the privacy. It is the supremely most private cryptocurrency of all with a larger anonymity set than Monero. It's resistant to 51% attacks. And a little plug for my channel on my video, I've got 30, on my channel, I've got 33 videos on my pirate chain playlist. And I'll link to that in the description below. I've got other videos on Pirate Chain where I compare Pirate Chain with other cryptocurrencies that are some are in that playlist. Some I'm hoping to upload in the next few weeks or so, given the amount of interest in this coin and the amount of interest and the importance of privacy. So this is the April 2021 edition of the Pirate Post. This is produced by one of the crew, another first mate at Pirate Chain. Just want to let you know, Pirate is a completely decentralized project. No pre-mine, no fundraiser or ICO, no death fund, no team fund. They just launched the code and people started mining it and mining it and mining it and people started getting involved. There's nobody who's a member of the crew who is paid to be a member of the crew. It's entirely voluntary. And that includes my participation as well. And I participate in this because I am passionate about privacy. Without privacy, there is no freedom. What a crazy time these past few weeks have been. We have achieved new all-time highs in every possible measure, including the number of websites visits per day, the number of Twitter followers, weekly meeting audience size, and of course, the price action. Now, if you may be thinking, oh my God, oh my God, the price has gone through the roof. I've, I've missed my missed the boat. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. This is still a young, relatively unknown project. I remember in 2016, Monero was pennies. And where is Monero now, five years later? I'm not saying Pirate Chain is going to reach those dizzy heights, at least not yet anyway, but I am in for the long term because the long term will give me long term returns. Now, since Pirate Chain has no block reward taxes to pay for any centralized employees, we have every pirate to thank for all the tireless, voluntary efforts and generous donations that have nurtured Pirate Chain. Now, normally we focus on events of the previous month, but there's been so much going on that some of the recent events will be covered in this edition and the next edition. So please do subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on that. I do at least one video on Pirate Chain every month, and actually I end up doing more because I'm part of the crew and it's such a fabulous project. So we have several new Pirate Chain promotional videos. If you want to know how to get started with Pirate Chain, here's some new how-to video guides and informational videos about Pirate. You can now download the first ever Z2Z mobile Android wallet, aka Skull Island, on the Google Play Store. Big thank you to the team at BPSAA for making this happen. Monthly project update meetings, you can catch up here. Now you can catch up on the weekly Pirate Chain fireside chats. March the 17th, First Mate Lutz gave a talk on his experience at Anacapulco. March the 24th, there was an AMA with Captain Drake. March the 
31st, there was a fun conversation with Bank of Ecria about financial freedom and pirate chain. And then there was this. First Mate Lutz represented pirate chain at Anarcha 2021. And our presence there was a huge success. The ideals of pirate chain and the strong privacy technology was widely loved and accepted by the TCV family 2021. Now, I think one of the reasons why pirate chain prices shot up the way that it has is because of the endorsement of the dollar vigilante and the crypto vigilante. So Jeff Berwick, he recommended Monero to his subscribers when Monero was pennies. And the dollar vigilante and the crypto vigilante is all about privacy and freedom. And I think what's happened is upon his recommendation, all those people that were holding Monero, long-term hodlers, believers in liberty and freedom and privacy started looking at Pirate Chain. And they were like, oh my God, oh my God, this has really, 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 really great tech. And they also saw it as a really great investment opportunity, as well as a way of securing financial privacy in a world that is increasingly dystopian and authoritarian. There was also this article on Hacker Noon discussing the original ideals of a cryptocurrency for the people. And the article goes through the evolution of Bitcoin from being a cipher fund digital currency as a tool against the behemoths of traditional centralized finance to its position today as a tool of Wall Street serving to enrich the very people that it was designed to protest. And the article also presents the case for Pirate Chain as the closest iteration to cash because of its anonymity and its value proposition as the people's money. And you can read the article and link through it through this blog post, which I will link in the video below, in the description below. BitBoy talked to First Mate Crypto Rich about Pirate Chain, and as well as the BPSAA members of Ether One, which is now Ether Protocol and Sentinel. And in this video, Crypto Rich discusses Pirate Chain's new all-time highs, which now seem a little bit dated. By the way, I will have more of those videos coming up. I've got a whole bunch of Pirate Chain videos, which I recorded two years ago, that I took down when YouTube was deleting and shadow banning me. Well, they're still shadow banning me, so please subscribe, comment, like. If you've already subscribed, check again, click the notification bell, because they do unsubscribe people that are subscribed. Thank you, YouTube. I'm going to be uploading those videos again, so you can do a little bit more research and due diligence, looking into Pirate Chain, and why it has better privacy than all the other privacy cryptocurrencies that are going. Going, at least in my opinion. In this video, the blockchain gang talk about Pirate Chain and they consider the question, could Pirate Chain replace Monero as the privacy standard? Note to editor, have this as I say the bit above. First mate Luke, he spoke at the Region Summit 2021 and the theme of the su su summit was the decentralization revolution is finally here. You can watch that presentation through their website. Merchant of the Month highlighted here is Ainbath. Ainbath is a growing collection of magical web comics, paintings, and stories. See what's new at a glance. Now, from the editor, I want to take this opportunity to thank all the pirate community and all the volunteers who have helped Pirate Chain to get to where it is today. At the time of writing, Pirate is ranked 85th with a 1.3 billion market cap. Now, at the time of hosting, Pirate Chain is number 43 by coin market cap and with a market cap of 2.9 billion. From making memes to tweeting exchanges, from creating blog posts to YouTube reviews, all of you have played a part in this grassroots driven community project. Without block reward taxes to fund a treasury, every effort has been raised directly by and from pirates. Please give yourselves a big pat on the back. That's right. Pirate Chain has been relatively dormant for the first two years after its inception in 2018. They're not often seen in, com in crypto are community projects with no dev funds such as Pirate Chain. But nonetheless, Pirate Chain has been steadily building up its community with a hardworking team of volunteer contributors. Throughout this time, the team has inspired an ecosystem of privacy enhancing partnerships and products built around Pirate Chain. From the different wallets, paper, light, skull, island mobile, and treasure chest full node to our privacy centric operating system, Ghost Ship OS. Over the past few weeks, the phrase gradually then suddenly by Hemingway has come to mind, often with regards to current events at Pirate Chain. Ironically, the context in which the phrase was used in Hemingway's book, The Sun Also Rises, refers to a discussion about bankruptcy. The application of this quote to Pirate Chain could not be further from the instance of its use in the book. Traditionally, blockchain analysts of transparent chains such as Bitcoin determine adoption by assessing the quantity of addresses holding the assets and the net flows of transactions going in or out of wallets. Since Pirate Chain's privacy strategy does not publicly reveal any addresses or transaction details except to the sender and receiver. This public approach to evaluate a blockchain was not available to take a deeper analytical dive into Pirate Chain. However, there is one property of Pirate Chain that is publicly known and is probably the strongest asset in the privacy sector. 
And that is the anonymity set. A simple explanation of an anonymity set would describe it as the size of a crowd that you are trying to hide yourself in. Too small a crowd, for example, one out of 10, and you're going to be fairly easily spotted. The bigger the crowd, the more effective the privacy. Now, here you can see how the anonymity set has grown over time. And this red circle represents when Pirate Chain, which uses ZK Snarks, hard fought from Sprout to Sapling, which is a ZK Snark type of code. And this represents the increase in the size of the anonymity set. The larger the anonymity set, the greater the privacy. And this is only going to get larger and larger and larger. Now here, this was around August 2020. And this is when the dollar vigilante and the crypto vigilante recommended Pirate Chain to its subscribers, which brought in many, many more people into the Pirate Chain ecosystem. And as I said earlier, this will just continue to grow and grow and grow. Now, at the time that this article was published, the anonymity set, the total was 422,553. And let's look at the time that I recorded this video. On this website, it's 426,701, the total anonymity set. And I'll link to this in the description below so you can check how much this has increased by the time it comes to you watching this video. Now, if you want to connect with Pirate Chain, you can do so through all these different social media applications. There's Twitter, Instagram, Telegram, the YouTube channel, Float, Mastodon, Library TV, TikTok, Pinterest, Reddit.com, BitTube.tv, Medium.com, Line.me, Keybase, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And a special shout out goes out to Dream Tim, one of the Pirate Chain crew, who's also a first mate, because I think he's the one behind Pirate Chain's incredible social media pre presence. Now, this project, like I said, it's still early days. And one of the ways to gauge that it's still early days is the Telegram group is tiny, about three to 4,000 people. And I remember when I first joined and I became an admin on the Telegram group and I did warn them. I said, look, I'm a pretty useless admin because I'm not much about, you know, I'm not about much. And, and I kept true to that word. But there were only about a couple of few hundred in the Telegram group when I first joined. Now, as more and more people get interested in privacy, as more and more people get interested in Pirate Chain, as more and more people notice this project climbing up the top 100 on coin paprika that's going to join even more people and it's just going to grow and grow and grow and grow which is great because that is going to empower and enhance and strengthen and enforce privacy any comments questions put them in the description below and between now and when i see you next please keep filling your pockets with crypto profits this is crypto rich signing out all the best bye bye